And thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Hiller. I'm Candace Kelly. Nick Toma is off tonight. A recent swatting call leaves a Lycoming County family shaken up and police looking for the person who did it. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Allen is live in Montoursville outside the state police barracks with the latest. Jasmine? Good evening, Mark and Candace. Someone called a third party claiming that his parents were shot inside his Hughesville home, but when investigators arrived, they found that was untrue. Now police are saying these calls are the farthest thing from a harmless prank. Having us show up and scare the people that do live in that residence or causing uh, just chaos in the, the community because everybody's trying to figure out what's going on at that point, um, it's not funny. Swatting calls are when a person from another location contacts police about a false incident that's potentially dangerous. It's something that involves a school or something that involves someone being shot or seriously injured. Montoursville State Police received a call from somebody saying two people had been shot at a house in Hughesville. The homeowner, who remained anonymous, says she and her family were shocked to see so many police cars outside their home. He pointed the gun at me told me to show me my hands, so I put my hands up at the window, and then um, they, he was yelling at me to come out with my hands up. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but the resident says this experience was terrifying. They called it a prank, which I don't find funny at all because not only did it put us at risk, you know, and scare us, you know, it put the officers at risk because they don't know what they're walking into. Someone who makes a swatting call can face multiple charges, such as making terroristic threats. In 2019, state police partnered with the FBI to track down a swatting caller. We were able to locate the individual that made the call and they were out of Tennessee, I believe it was, um, and they were actually charged. So we do follow up to the fullest extent that we can. No arrests have been made in connection to the swatting call in Hughesville, but police are still investigating Candace. Jasmine, thank you.